opportunity. Thank you. Member for Seme. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. So, Speaker, I rise to discuss this report with a very heavy heart. So, Speaker, a very heavy heart that I cannot support this report. Mr. Speaker, because it is basically on sympathy that the small millers are suffering. But it does not give you the whole context you get the impression that uh, much more serious things have happened, but you don't see it in the report. We start by saying that these millers supplied the floor to the wholesalers, and it was not the responsibility to know what happened thereafter. Mr. Speaker, it goes on to say that these millers supplied the flour to neighboring families and they do not know who these neighboring families are. So if you the report then goes to say there was a multi-agency team comprising of various government agencies that was put in place to oversee the program at all stages. You do not even get to know how this multi-agency was linking with these small millers that you are sympathizing with. It then leaves you that it then tells you that the shifted maize mill was not stamped subsidy and therefore it gives you the impression that it went into the market and was probably just sold as any other maize mill. What it leaves you with, Mr. Speaker, is that we are paying people the maize that was supposed to be bought by Kenyans were bought at the expensive prices that we are now paying because they should have bought them at the lower prices. They did not. So where, 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 what is our rationale? I, I think that this report came out prematurely. It should have come with clear details of who did what. I don't want to help some people without knowing who I should punish. I would first of all want to know who to punish for this sin. Then I say, okay, these guys suffered because of these people. But we are left by saying the small millers, I, I presume this is the grain, millers, the grain Mill Owners Association. And I'm also assuming that the cereal uh, millers are probably the big ones. Because that is what is coming out of the report. So, Mr. Speaker, this report was in the right way, but I think we need to know exactly what happened before we make this payment. This is my view. I know it's painful for me because I'm told that these people are suffering. True, they are suffering. But I'm also very worried that if I'm in a business and there was a lot of issue at this time, and I'm milling maize, I'm taking it out. I also live in the same area. I don't go there to see whether anybody is buying the maize I milled at the price I was supposed to mill it at. I can't say I completely didn't know what was happening. So, Mr. Speaker, this report, we need a more detailed report. If it can come quickly so that we really help these small millers that we are seeing are suffering while we know exactly that's in the, that's word of cartels. Let's have it and know who these cartels are. These multi multi uh, agency teams. Let's know who they are and put them to task as we pay these people. But we can't just do a quick job and pay these people without knowing. My fear is that if we do that, there is no more heat. The matter goes. So me, Mr. Speaker, with a very very heavy heart. I do not support this report. I oppose it. Thank you. I can't see. I'm going to follow the list and the members I can't see. The Honorable Cecilia Ngitit of Turkana. I thought I saw her. 